All right, boys and girls, it's Red Army time. So these guys drove in these buses full of cops and Red Army. More Red Army marched up, replaced the army that was here, and then went away. This was the restaurant we were eating at up in here, and we watched them just absolutely shut shit down. This cop was really cool. I watched them all the whole time I was in there. They were really nice guys. So they look good. They look um, tough. I'm impressed. They'll be at attention indefinitely. And pretty cool. You know, for a totalitarian dictatorship. Um, yeah, a lot of it's just a show of force, but that cop right down, right down in here that's kind of looking at me right now, the big kind of heavy set dude there in the middle, he was just a really nice guy, uh, turning people away, only getting physical when he had to. So, you know, part of this is what we think it is. It's, you know, the Red Army showing out to block off a crowd so that it doesn't get out of control so they can control the masses. But at the same time, you know, people are people, so they're they're still pretty cool with each other and they're they're, you know, explaining stuff and if they're if people don't listen, then they'll kind of take them by the elbow and kind of shove them off. But I only saw one red guard go and uh, get really physical with a guy and, and basically jacked him right off the sidewalk. But other than that, you know, not a big deal. <laughs> and then here's the family. And, Let's go. and uh, if anybody can ever get down here, this place is the Shanghai grandmother restaurant and it is absolutely awesome. Um, I will definitely be doing some kind of a review on that. It's down we're near the Waldorf which is where they're at so um, and that's it. We're gonna walk. But you know, welcome to China. <laughs>